Hi, I am Deepa. I am going to discuss about experimental analysis of an operational amplifier using mental graphics. Aim here is to design an operational amplifier and to do that we have to first draw the schematic, verify the design parameters with the help of transient analysis. Also calculate theoretical and practical gain. Verify both of them and find the power dissipation. For operational amplifier experimental analysis, here we are considering a two stage op amp. Op amp, as we all know, it is nothing but a high gain differential amplifier. The first stage of two stage op amp is differential amplifier and it provides high gain. Second stage of two stage op amp is common source amplifier and it provides large output swings. Circuit diagram of the two stage op amp is as shown here. The first stage is nothing but a differential amplifier, and second stage is common source amplifier. Gain of the first stage is transconductance of n mass of operational amplifier multiplied by parallel resistances of n mass resistance and p mass resistance of differential amplifier. Gain of the second stage is transconductance of n mass of common source amplifier multiplied with parallel combination of resistance of n mass and p mass of common source amplifier. Once we calculate first stage gain and second stage gain, overall gain is nothing but product of first and second stage gains. Here we will see how to draw the schematic for two-stage op-amp and simulation. Here we have to create the project and then library. Within the library we have to create the schematic here. And here I have already drawn the schematic. As we all know two-stage op-amp requires four n mosses and four p mosses. And we can select NMOS and PMOS by clicking instance that is as I then generic 13. In generic 13, click on symbols, select NMOS or PMOS whichever is required. Here click OK and you can see that by pressing an instance I, we can select NMOS and PMOS. After that, if we press W, we can get the wire and wire can be used to interconnect all NMOS and PMOS. Then pins are required here, input, output and bidirectional pins are selected from the pin selection and they are added as VDD, ground, input, output. So we have to generate the symbol, go to add, generate symbol, choose the shape for op-amp, we are choosing buffer, click OK here. After choosing the shape, next customize pin list. Here we can set the pins to whichever side we want. Current source is added down, then VDD to the right, VDD to the top, ground to the bottom, and uh, like this, all the pins here should be customized. Once we customize that, we can click here OK. Now, once the schematic with the pins is ready, we can create the symbol. And now the symbol is created. As I have already created the symbol, now I am going to draw the test schematic here. In the test schematic to the op amp, we will be adding all the required sources. So, here you can see that by pressing I, I can select the de already designed op amp here. Then uh, power supply is added, input AC source with 5 micro volt amplitude and 1k frequency is added as input and DC bias of 0.85 volts and current source of 160 micro amps is added and then output pin V out. Then simulation, new configuration, click OK. Then just run this schematic 
that is it is nothing but an operating point analysis once done that you can go to view the complete log file here complete log file will give all the currents voltages transconductance required and the mosfets operation in which region they are operating so we have to check here all the m mos and p mos should be operating in saturation region then only the circuit will act as an amplifier here we can see that all our p all four p mos are there and all four p mos are operating in saturation region once they are operating in saturation region then we have to note down the values of gm and r on this is required for the theoretical calculation of the gain next again we have to see all the four n mosses and all these four n mosses should be operating in saturation region so now once they are operating in saturation region note down the transconductance and resistance values so once we are done that we can go to log file and we can note down the power dissipation of the operational amplifier and we can here we can see that it is 620.524 micro watts so here again go to simulation new configuration then okay click okay here we will do the transient analysis set up environment simulator we have to select here and ez wave simulator will be selected to see the waveforms click okay here so once we have set up the simulation environment now we can go for the analysis by default operating point analysis will be selected disable that and then select transient analysis give the time as from 0 to i am giving here 3 nanoseconds as we have selected input as 1 kilohertz so the time will be 1 millisecond and i have run for 3 cycles that is 3 milliseconds select the input and uh, then output once you have selected the input output output should be added and the plot should be selected click add then you have to apply so once analysis is selected you can run the simulation here so now after simulation the waveform will be obtained like this once the waveform is there go to tools measurement tool as we want peak to peak output and input voltage select peak to peak add both the voltage sources here so here also select peak to peak then apply once you do that peak to peak voltage will be displayed as shown here here input peak to peak is 10 microvolts and output peak to peak voltage is 1.59 milli volts so this is how schematic is drawn and simulation is done using enter graphic cda tool so after that now we will discuss about the results results from the waveform we will get the practical gain and for that av will be equal to v out by v in v out is 1.59 milli volts and input is 10 micro volts then total gain will be 159.613 from the complete log file we have noted down the transconductance of the nmos of differential amplifier and it is 828.57 micro siemen and resistance of nmos of differential amplifier is 36.43 kilo ohm and 
resistance of pmos of differential amplifier is 39.62 kilo ohm and first stage gain will be equal to 15.71 similarly the second stage gain transconductance of the nmos of common source amplifier is 519.048 microsiemen and resistance of nmos of common source amplifier is 29.085 kilo ohm resistance of pmos of common source amplifier is 59.95 kilo ohm the second stage gain is 10.16 total overall gain of op amp will be 159.6 and power dissipation as we have seen from the log file it is 620.524 Five two four micro watts. Thank you.